Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of White Boy Rick. A true story about a teenage drug dealer slash informant for the FBI. Of course, this real life true story absolutely fascinated me right from hearing about this film being made. I didn't know much about the actual true story itself. I was definitely intrigued when it came to the film. So did the film do the real life true story justice? Mm, it ended up being solidly fine. So let's go ahead and talk about the positives first. The first thing I want to talk about is the acting, in particular, from Matthew McConaughey. I think this is the best I have seen him, maybe since his Oscar win. He was really, really good in this movie. There was just so much going on with his character throughout the entire film. I think through his performance, in particular, his character seemed to just have so many more layers than anyone else around him. He was a complicated, multifaceted character, and a large part of that is due to the layers and humanity and different levels that McConaughey was able to bring to him. I thought it was just a stellar performance. I also love that this film is bringing a case to the forefront to demonstrate how asinine it is to have nonviolent crimes be given this type of sentence. It always kind of comes down to the fact of nobody wants to excuse people of the punishments that they need to face due to crimes that they have committed or bad things that they may have done. But you have to make the punishment fit the crime. And of course, we all know drug dealing and drug peddling and all of this fun jazz is bad stuff. But on your first offense, getting a lifetime sentence at 17 years old, that's insanity. And there are so many more cases of the like, and many of them skew toward black males, if we're being honest. Maybe they weren't the youngest, like, kingpin in a drug ring, um, such as White Boy Rick, but there are plenty of black males, black females, minorities, who have been given a huge sentence for nonviolent crimes across the country, as well as, of course, white folks who are also in jail for nonviolent crimes, such as White Boy Rick. But across the board, it's just, it's ridiculous. And I appreciate the film bringing to light this story of a minor who was brought in by the FBI to start in on the business, and then this happened. I also think it was definitely stylish. I think that the director added a surface level flair. I had some problems with the directing overall, but I think from a pure style standpoint, it had some nice creativity going on and I appreciated that. What was wrong with White Boy Rick? Well, mostly the pacing. The pacing was by far the biggest problem with the film. And I think that stems from the fact that the filmmakers didn't do a good enough job in actually making us relate to or really connect with our characters. They all kind of were kept at arm's length, including Rick Jr. himself, and it, it made the plight and made the story, made the plot a lot less interesting because just going along in this plot with people that you don't necessarily really like or relate to and and it made everything drag it seemed very slow and very long for a good portion of this film i also wish we had maybe started a little bit younger we pretty much start right at the point where he starts getting into the business and i wish we would have started earlier we get some subtext with the father and that whole storyline but we needed more to get a better understanding of him as a person and his upbringing and instead again it just it made him feel like a hollow caricature of 
an uneducated drug dealer. And that was a shame to me. I think we could have done a much better job of flushing white boy Rick out as a person, as a human, and it would have made him more relatable and made us more invested in what was happening to him. I also think the storytelling was a mess. It was all over the place. The way that the director pieced everything together seemed disjointed. We were kind of just jumping around to all these random events very little of which seemed to connect one piece to the next. Instead, it just seemed like bop, 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 bopping all over this one person's journey, but it didn't flow properly. It didn't have a continuity to it that seemed like a cohesive story. The editing also didn't quite help. We were given random shots, we were given random tidbits, many of which were kind of like, hmm, why was this actually left in here? It wasn't needed would have preferred to get more development if if we were going to be padding runtime. Then, because I didn't feel particularly invested in the characters, I do think the ending holds some weight, but we get a little bit heavy-handed near the end. It feels real ham-fisted that last 20 minutes or so, and it's just like, oh, oh, I don't know that we earned this leading into this final segment. So overall, I think that White Boy Rick tells a very fascinating story about an issue we don't talk about, like, at all, that needs to be brought to the forefront a lot more often. However, from a filmmaking standpoint, the narrative is pieced together in such a strange, disjointed, and ultimately non-interesting way that I think this gets a rental. The story's good, Matthew McConaughey's performance is strong, but it just never quite gels and comes together to make a strong film as a whole. So, that is my review of White Boy Rick. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see White Boy Rick? Or have you already seen it? If you have, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!